purpose, does the gentleman from Rhode Island rise? The gentleman is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, last night President Obama outlined a bold vision for his second term in office and spoke about the number one issue facing our country, jobs. The President understands that if we want to get our country back on the right track, we have to invest in those areas that are essential to growing our economy and strengthening the middle class. And with families all across America, and particularly in my home state of Rhode Island, facing tremendous challenges, it's critical that our friends on the other side of the aisle put aside partisan gamesmanship and start working together on the common sense goals that President Obama outlined. Reinvigorating manufacturing, investing in our infrastructure, making education a priority, and developing new sources of clean energy, as well as a long-term strategy to deal with our debt. It's true that Republicans and Democrats have a choice. We can either work to find common ground and move our country forward as a whole, or we can continue the partisan fighting that has created gridlock in Washington. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to find common ground and real solutions so that we can put our country back to work and address the serious challenges facing our nation. I yield back the balance of my time. The uh, gentleman yields back. 